All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 20 of My Gateway Experience. 20 days in a row, so not bad. And the purpose of these videos is to document my journey through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience. It's a series of six waves with six tapes in each wave, and I am currently on the fourth tape of the first wave. So we have only just now begun. And the purpose of the Gateway Experience is to allow ourselves here. I'll just tell you the affirmation. I think that's the best thing to do. Uh, it's to understand that I am more than my physical body. And because I am more than physical matter, I deeply desire to expand, to experience, to know, to understand, to control, to use such greater energies and energy systems as may be beneficial to me and to those near and close to me. Also, I deeply desire the help and cooperation, the assistance, the understanding of those individuals whose wisdom, development, and experience are equal or greater than my own. That's the purpose of the gateway experience. And so um, right now being on the fourth tape, it's called release and recharge. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, do go ahead and check those out as I will be referencing them along this video as well. And I'm just gonna jump straight into it right now. I don't know if I should look at the camera or if I should just keep looking at my eyes over here. Maybe I'll just look at the camera. I think that's more, it looks better in the video. Anyway, right now it is September 13th, 2020, and it is not 2020, 2022. 2020 was two years ago. And it's 11.27 a.m. Last night, I went to sleep around 11 um, because I didn't even get in the door until 9 p.m. And I like to spend like a couple hours with my family. So, um, at, so yeah, that was good. But uh, today, I woke up at, um, at like 9, basically. Yeah, 9, 9 a.m. So... You know, it is what it is. Uh, it's a late day, late start to my day, but um, I got to kind of dream a little bit. And I want to start out by saying that I don't want to prioritize my dreams. Not my own. I want to prioritize my dreams, of course, <laughs> like the long term vision of the future, but not so much like staying in bed and dreaming in here, um, even though that's valuable and it helps me gain insight into what's going on. Um, inside of me and everything else um, and my mindset I more want to prioritize um, I still want to prioritize my mindset that's the most important thing as I've stated in the other videos but I also want to prioritize waking up early and getting things done and creating my dreams um, I think that's something that's very important and so I'm just gonna state that intention and I'm just gonna move forward with that and uh, so, yeah, I went ahead and practiced my um, morning routine, my meditation, and I went ahead and did the fourth tape, the release and recharge tape. And like yesterday, today was the seventh day doing it, and uh, I'm going to do it tonight as well. But like yesterday, I didn't really come up with anything, any fears, that is. Um, which is the purpose of this tape, um, for whatever reason. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I just feel at peace. I feel more in control of my emotions. I feel good. I feel like I am more aware of things and, um, everything that is going on in my life much more so than before. I know how to handle things. I know how to solve my problems. I have very little stress. So all in all, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing at all. And I can thank the tapes because of that. The only thing that I have in mind is like, okay, should I keep doing it? And I think, yes, I'm going to keep doing it. And so I'm sorry if it's boring for you guys. I'm going to do my best to come up with new topics to kind of talk about and kind of concepts to really dig into um, as I go along this journey here of um, episode 20. 
And so what I thought about talking about today is really our relationships. Yesterday, I talked about our habits and how um, really that's how we create our lives. And I really just touched on it a little bit. So I want to build on that today by talking about our relationships and how that's really what dictates our habits is the people that we surround ourselves with and what they're doing is what we kind of see ourselves doing. That can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. For example, some of the communications that I've been having with people over the phone recently as I've been going about my job search and looking to work with an established company or just start my own company. And so the thing is that to start my own company, it's going to be, it's going to take time and effort and energy. And I'm doing that uh, just on a daily basis. And I'm going to have to recruit people to come and work for me and all this stuff. But that's uh, besides the point, uh, because that's not really the purpose of these videos. Um, I just kind of want to touch on something that I can give value to whoever is listening to this or watching this video. Um, and that's very important. And so if with that in mind, when we're going to start a company or just look to positively influence our current environment or what company we work for right now, we need to be in a, pos a position, a place of a higher level where we can come into it and we can um, be giving be adding value to uh, whatever relationship we are in and we every single relationship that we come to we have to be in that mindset and just looking at how can we provide value instead of taking or being dependent and that brings me to a relation a connection with uh, the seven habits of highly effective people and a story about that and really working on your circle of uh, influence really your power base and that also kind of alludes to a story in the Bible about how I believe it was Jacob who or maybe it was somebody whatever his name was if you look it up I don't want to I just want to touch on this real quick because that's not the purpose of this either but I just want to touch on it just to really provide value here the story is the one that was working under the Pharaoh that had a dream, a precognition dream of the future of the famine. And, um, and that uh, is all I'm gonna say about it. So, because uh, he was able to uh, really provide a ton of value for, he didn't like, he was captured and everything else. And, um, and he just focused on the people that were around him. And uh, because of that, he was able to rise to a position even above sort of equal on equal or, or above footing of the pharaoh there the ruler of egypt at that time and so that's what i'm going to say for that um as far as um working with uh the the reason why it's a bad thing coming back to my it can can be a bad thing based on your associations coming back to my earlier point is that um you know we find ourselves and just to really connect everything else that i've kind of stated before if we are too concerned with what other people think, right? Like maybe some people that we are relating with that might, might not be accepting of what we are doing, then we can find ourselves slowing ourselves down and that's not good at all. So that can be a bad thing. But the good thing is what I just stated. And so, um, yeah, it's very important to come to everything with a from a position of, of, uh, of a higher level, of a greater energy, understanding that we are more than our physical bodies and just really keeping that in mind and especially when we're relating with other people that might not believe the same thing that might not behave in the same way it's very important to just always come back to the practice and come back to the present moment because that's really where everything happens and so with all of that being said i want to thank you guys so much for watching going to be another shorter video as I move into um, more uh, takeaways as uh, I stated in my description here for the beginning of these videos because going through the release and recharge tape I'm doing it and I'm, I'm experiencing it and I am doing my best to take something out of it and this is what I'm taking out of it because the purpose of that tape is to look at our fears and turn them into 
um, clean and um, good energy. And I did it today, and it just so happened that I didn't have anything to wash. Everything was already clean. And the reason being is that I've been doing it every day, and I've been consistent with it. And that's the best thing. That is not a problem at all. That is the best thing that could ever happen. Why did my voice crack right there? I think the reason why my voice cracked right there is because it is the best thing that could ever happen. And a lot of the times we find ourselves addicted to our pain. We find ourselves find, like tr creating some kind of problem. Why does there have to be a problem? Why? It does, there doesn't have to be a problem. Just because it's exciting sometimes we get our adrenaline rush and all these kinds of things, our survival instincts kick in. But that's so unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. I don't want to survive. I don't. I want to thrive. I want to create from that position. And so thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's pretty much everything I can say on this topic. And so until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.